Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Now today's video I'm going to be doing the power of makeup. Now the whole idea of this video is that you do makeup on one side of your face and leave the other side bare and it's basically so you can show how makeup transforms your face. Um, I personally think makeup makes me look quite different. I wouldn't go out and spend as much money as I do on makeup if it didn't make me look different. The whole reason why I wear makeup is just to make I don't know, I just like, I personally really like wearing makeup and doing my makeup and that's why I wear makeup. Um, yeah, so if you'd like to see my take on the power of makeup, then just keep watching. So starting off with primer, I'm using the Nivea Men Post Shave Balm and just applying it to the right side of my face. This is really weird applying makeup to just one side. Um, it's going to be really odd, I feel like I'm going to accidentally put it all over my face. <laughs> I'm using the Bourjois Healthy Mix Serum Foundation as always and this foundation is obviously darker than my skin um, my face is really white because I don't put tan on my face so that is why so you can clearly see a difference with the colour of my face now for concealer I'm using the Collection Lasting Perfection Concealer in the shade 1 Fair and I'm just applying this to the usual places And now I'm just setting that with the Rimmel Stay Matte Powder. Okay, so I'm doing my eyebrows next, or my eyebrow, <laughs> um, and I'm using the, the Barry M Shape and Define Eyebrow Kit in... And then I'm just setting them with the Miss Forty Clear Mascara. So next, moving on to eyes. I'm not totally sure what eye look I'm going to do. And I think I'm gonna just, just going to do one of my go-to looks with the Urban Decay Naked 2 palette. Uh, so first, I'm taking the shade Tease and running this through my crease as a transition shade. So I do my eyeshadow in like a circular motion going around the whole crease of my eye. I never tend to bring my eyeshadow out into a triangle shape. I don't want my eyes to look elongated like to the side. I want the overall appearance to appear a bit bigger. So by applying my eyeshadow in like a circular motion going around the whole eye, it will make the whole eye appear bigger. Whereas if you've done like a wing to the side, it will make your eyes appear longer and I don't want my eyes to appear longer. So that is why I apply eyeshadow in the way that I do. I was literally just about to move on to the other eye, but I'm not doing the other eye. This is so weird. Okay, so once I've got that transition shade in, I'm now going to be going into the colour Busted. Um, and this is kind of a lot darker, purpley shade. I'm just putting this on the outer corner. I'm just taking it on a slightly more denser brush so that I don't get any fallout. And then blending that into the crease. If you apply too much product, just go in with a big fluffy brush and keep blending. So a woman just came to my door with a parcel and I had to answer looking like this. <laughs> and she looked at me like, is she, is she crazy? And then taking the shade Tease and running this along my lower lash line. Also, um, I've only started doing this recently but I quite like joining my eyeshadow on my lower lash line to the eyeshadow on the top lash line. Kind of in like a circular kind of motion going around the whole eye. So now onto the lid shade, I'm gonna be taking a mixture of Half Baked and YDK because I want a shade that's in between the two, basically. So once I've got that on my lid, I'm just gonna go and blend it into the other shades. And then I'm gonna go in with another coat of that color just to brighten it up a bit. And then again, blending that in so that everything looks really nice and seamless. So next on to mascara, I'm using the Maybelline Four Seeds Push Up Drama Mascara. I've never used this before, so this could 
I don't know whether it's going to be good or not, but I have heard good things about it. I needed a new mascara and just thought I'd pick up this one as I'd never tried it before. I think mascara is what makes me look most different. Um, I naturally have really long and thick eyelashes, so when I apply mascara, I think it suddenly kind of makes my eyes look a lot bigger. Um, so this mascara isn't great for lengthening the lashes, I mean it is quite good at making your lashes look thicker but that's just because it makes them look a little bit clumpy. So I don't really know if I really like this mascara. I find with though a lot of mascaras the first time you use them there's so much product in the kind of tube that it all kind of comes out at once so the second or third time I use the product I do kind of prefer it so I'll see if that happens with this one. I'm also just applying that to the bottom lashes too. So moving on to contour, I'm just going to be using the L'Oreal Infallible Sculpt Contour Kit in the shade Light Medium and contouring my face with this, well half my face. <laughs> and I'm also putting it slightly down the nose as well. Just because I think when you apply a little bit of contour down the nose as well, it kind of ties in the whole look. I'm also applying it down the jawline. And I'm just going to blend that out with a contour brush from Real Techniques. So now I'm just going to bronze my face slightly using the Rimmel Natural Bronzer and the same brush because I want, I don't want this to go all over. My neck is looking extremely white so I'm just going to take that a bit down my neck as well so that everything matches. So now moving on to highlight, I'm just going to be using a single eyeshadow from Makeup Revolution in the shade um, Mono Eyeshadow Base. It's such a beautiful colour just as a highlight. Now I just like applying this with my finger as I find that's how it looks kind of most blended. Um, so I'm just applying this on the cheekbones and on the brow bone, on the middle part of the nose, on the cupid's bow. And yeah. For lips, I'm using this PS Lip Liner from Primark and it's only a pound um, and these are actually really good and I've heard some really good reviews about them as well and this is in the shade Wine. And then I'm using this MAC lipstick in the shade Viva Glam 3. And it's this gorgeous plummy colour, lip, lip, pretty much exactly the same colour as the lip liner, which is really good. Now I'm just going to neaten up the line across my face. <laughs> so this is the finished look, if that's what you can call it. Um, yeah, it's really strange seeing them like side on side, but yeah, this is like the finished look. Also, I just wanted to say I really want to do a Q&A, but obviously to do a QA, and a I need your questions, so please leave your questions down below. Um, the questions I've been asked so far, I have written down and I have taken them into, in, into account, so they will be in the video, so don't worry, I haven't forgot about them, but I just need a few more to make a video out of it, so let me know if you'd like me to do one of those. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, comment any other videos you'd like me to do in the future, subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!